Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with Waza 131, I haven't played in this tank in years um, and I believe it is about the time to show what this tank is capable of and it's one of the better tier 7 um, light tanks overall. First map we have live folks, we are playing against the tier uh, 6 tier 7 tanks so it looks pretty good. Um, also one more thing needs to be said fellas. Uh, we are experimenting some stuff with extra channel and I would love to know what do you want to see in this channel. For example, uh, what do you think about the idea of us having uh, um, videos from the stream highlights, right? Like we had a, a Badger couple of good games, but overall I am playing obviously more tanks on stream. And if we are having a great game with whatever, I don't even know, Cromwell or whatever else, just to put the stream highlight. Why am I saying so? Uh, because we are getting closer to the level when we are pretty much going to be done uh, while highlighting every single lower tier tank as well. Um, that's what I am thinking and I'm curious what you have to say fellas. So what do I mean by saying that? For example, um, I am uh, um, I am doing a tank request or whatever else right, uh, on the live stream and if we are having a great game, extraordinary game, uh, we are just putting the video um, as a highlight from um, Twitch YouTube, right? If that makes sense, right? I'm curious what you have to say. Um, we are experimenting with some stuff because my list is saying we have approximately, we have approximately 20 to 30 tanks left. So we have content for one more month um, by doing the standard stuff and after that you know I don't really want to repeat the same uh, uh, the same tanks uh, four times a year if that makes sense or uh, same tanks two or three times a year. So I am curious what you have to say fellas and what would you love to see in extra channel. Um, obviously we are working on compilation a video aka funny moments but it is going going to happen uh, on the main channel, right? Because people like uh, it and it is containing um, all memes, jokes, whatever, you know? This is the thing. Uh, and uh, so yeah, fellas, once again, simple question, uh, obviously not so simple answer. What do you want to see in uh, um, Skill for L2 Extra? Uh, maybe you have some ideas. So obviously we will continue our journey with the top three and everything. We are going to do that. But once again, not every single day because it will become repetitive, right? This is also, uh, we need to highlight this as well. Okay, so what do we have? We need to figure out how to make a bit of pressure for the enemies and this is not uh, so simple if you know what I mean. This is not so simple. I would say we are trying to get involved like this and after that probably like this. Maybe this will bring us so much more use. Let's see. Let's see what do we have. So far we are not spotted. That means we have um, we have space to move and this is good stuff. Okay, still not spotted. Interesting. Um, I, I think the best way how we can do this is to um, spot the sniper schnitzels in the back. I do not really imagine how I can move differently if you know what I mean. Let's see. We should be able to spot um, all those sweet tank destroyers sitting here. Beautiful, this is exactly what I want to see. Another one, look at his awareness, not the greatest awareness ever. We have some support, so once again I am not feeling too bad and he is officially doomed. Obviously this gentleman, he cannot survive this, he can't do absolutely anything about this situation. And once again, this is exactly what I was looking for, this is exactly what I was aiming for. Now I would love to save our Su-100 for obvious reasons, right? Unfortunately our gun depression is not that great, but it will work just fine. Nice. Meanwhile. We found the next guy, how are you doing? You are in the middle of the field and I can promise you that you are not going to enjoy this. Beautiful. Um, by the way, I am very very well aware of that this vehicle is... 
very similar to um, Type 62, but it is just better tank for my for my understanding and uh, um, in my opinion and the main reason why am i saying this tank is just simply feeling so much better is because gun handling of this tank is actually working and the thing is we do not really have very skilled crew on this tank or something right um and for some weird reason, gun is working fine, uh, you can do many bad things for the enemies and um, unfortunately, but the Type 62 is looking trollish even though it has a bit better DPM in a way, right? But what's from the DPM if you cannot hit shit as well? This is very important thing to say. Meanwhile, we should be able to eliminate this Jet Panther from the game and this is exactly what I am looking for for obvious reasons. Boom, just in the butt. After that we have Arta sitting here um, and we are getting the sweet assisting damage. Excellent game. Uh, there is no bad things for us to say uh, about this battle. I think uh, it was actually perfection, fellas. Um, we did everything properly. We got involved when we needed to. We got plenty of assisting damage we got plenty of the um, damage dealt everything is looking pretty good if you would ask me beautiful very very nice game fellas um first battle is a strong one um obviously by any means i am using uh, good equipment well good equipment standard equipment on this tank uh, but i am using the Top configuration, that means top gun, engine, and so on. You know the drill. Oh, it is. Nice. Okay, look at this beauty, fellas. We have an ace and we have rigged brother in arms. Uh, he did not even set tanks and he left me hanging. Disgusting, how could he? And once again, 2,000 damage, 5 kills, 2.2,000 assisting damage. We are first by experience, we are first by the damage. We made healthy amount of the profits, although keep this in mind, majority of the profits are coming from uh, complete admission. And this is a very uh, good and beautiful game. Let's go for round number 2. And in the same time, fellas, I want to remind for every single of you if you um, are wondering uh, what tank uh, to get or what line to grind keep this in mind uh, there is index page for that and you can find um, my ratings on many many tanks and soon we are going to work on reworking the ratings right uh, by saying that I mean you will see in-depth rating why tank has that rating and what is the gun handling and how easy it is to play and so on so on speaking Speaking about this tank, it is rated epic in the index page, as you can see. I think this is uh, one of the most underrated tanks in the game, and this is truly bladeful. Um, now, speaking about the setup which I am using for this tank, I am using double setup, aka uh, this one for open maps and this one for city maps. I decided to go this way, and for a field modifications, I am going this way as well. Mark of excellence requirements and everything. All this good stuff is in the index page fellas so feel free to check it out it is not that hard to do um, and I hope you are going to get a good information for yourself as well meanwhile what do we want to do now uh, we have a tier 7 tier 8 um, matchmaking okay uh, what is the plan? I really want to spank someone who is trying to cross like this. Um, I do not feel like I really want to go for the hill. Uh, maybe this is a bad decision from my side, but we'll see. Time will show absolutely everything. Meanwhile, Spitz is trying to get involved. And boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's not going to enjoy himself. It, uh, it is quite visible he is going to take one for the team. Meanwhile... I am thinking about a different approach here and I know um, not many people know this but you can actually climb here like this. And this is what I am thinking and this is what I am planning to do. So watch this. We are going to load high explosive ammunition instantly for this AMAX light tank. Um, and in the same time, just to let you know, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you can actually climb here if you are practicing uh, a bit to do so. What do I mean by saying this? 
uh, is you need to do some wiggle, 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 and you can actually climb here. It is way harder to do with a light tank, by the way, but as you can see, we are almost up, and I cannot go because they have some guys here. Um, just information overall for you, fellas. Uh, this is uh, this is extremely nice surprise for the enemies, and you can actually climb like this with a tog or anything else, right? So please keep this in mind and use this for your advantage. This is very nice flanking, but obviously... Um, the most important thing is you can and you will take one for the team from the guys who are going to play here in the side. So, uh, in this situation, it is not very simple for us to play the game. I do not see easy angles how we can smack enemies without getting smacked back. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the worst maps for a light tank, in my opinion, but we are going to try to make it work, okay? I see what is happening. We need to react quickly. Um, enemies are actually considering their life choices and they are trying to make a bit of pressure like this. So what we need to do, we need to react into the current situation and we need to take a position somewhere here. From here, we should be able to help our T29 um, if this gentleman needs help. And in fact, there is a Progetto who is actually trying to flank our T29. Not ideal situation, but that's what we have, and at this point we should be able to spot him. Very nice, this is a good one. He is still considering his life choices, he is looking in the ear, and he is thinking, hmm, I wonder what to do. This is how the things are looking like from this uh, uh, Progetto side. I really want to spot him once again, but this is kind of complicated stuff to be fair with you. Meanwhile, we have a relatively good angle here, and once again, we are just simply waiting until enemies will mess up. I said too many good things about this tank, and one more thing which I really want to highlight with this vehicle. Um, our crew is pretty much new. Um, we have only like 70% of the camo rating. So we can easily say this crew is not an not excellent one. Uh, there is no snapshot. There is no smooth ride and so on, so on. So keep this in mind. And whenever you are seeing the shots missing, well, uh, this could be because of the crew. Or maybe because of the bad gunner. Well, how are you doing? Very nice. What is the alpha damage? 200, right? Hmm. Okay. Mr. Progetto. Look, this is going to be a very complicated situation. 3 to 9. Definitely not much making where um, we can feel like a fish in the water. And this is very, very important thing to highlight, my friends. Um, in this much making, fellas, we are feeling truly bad. Okay, doesn't really matter. Oi, oi, he's new in the game. Well, uh, he has only one way to do the things. And by saying he has only one way, oi, oi, he has a lag. I do not know. Uh, maybe there is a little Tim playing on his father account or something, but um, he has a bit of the reaction troubles. He, had, he has uh, some... Some bad uh, issues, if I can say so. But once again, nothing what he could done differently here. He can only accept this and he can go to the next game. Once again, there is no shame in that. Not everyone is professional World of Tanks player. And I've seen the attitude of the people. Oh, look at this uh, uh, idiot, uh, donkey or something. No, fellas. Every single person um, is playing to the best of his abilities and let them play the game instead of uh, going ham on people, right? Um, not everyone is great in the game, not everyone is a professional World of Tanks player, and to be fair with you, this is completely normal and completely fair, and nothing what you can change about this. Meanwhile, uh, this Type 62 is officially dead. Um, I want to see them coming for us and they will, fellas. They will. There is no other choice for them. This guy is thinking about getting a bit aggressive as well. This is exactly what I want to see. I repeat, this is exactly what I want to see. Super Hellcat, Arta, doesn't really matter. 
I want to eliminate Super Hellcat from the game because he's going to pick like this in a second. Aha! Shame. Okay, listen, I had no chance to go for the enemy the capture, okay? Um, the situation was very, very simple, one versus nine. I mean, I would love to say I can do more stuff in this situation, but I cannot. Um, and I'm not feeling bad about this game by any means. Um, we got as much as we could and we played as well for our abilities. Uh, meanwhile, 1.5 thousand damage. 80 assisting damage, we are first by experience, we are second by the uh, damage and we made quite a bit of profits as well. Not horrible game, let's go for round number 3. And we are back with round number 3. Okay, this is looking interesting game. Uh, there is plenty of Vakas out there, I do not even understand why, but there is plenty of those vehicles. We do not have top of the tree for this tank. It is not a premium tank. Madness. Huh. Interesting matchmaking. Anyways, uh, what do we have? We have Cliff. We have a tier 8, tier uh, 6 matchmaking. So what is our goal? Our goal is probably to play around the middle. And we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can. My goal would be to get 3000 combined in this game. But once again, um, a lot of things are depending on the luck. And on the decisions which we are going to make in this game, right? Uh, and obviously a lot of things are depending on the team we are having as well. Do I want to risk it for the biscuit to go up? I think I do. And oh boys, oh boys, really far shot fire. Yikes. Yikes, well, I thought I am going to go on top of the hill without any um, problems whatsoever, and as you can see, problems we have. Shame. Okay, no complaints, no regrets, I am just accepting this, and let's try to play here. Uh, it sucks, fellas, we lost a lot of, a lot of hit points uh, for no reason whatsoever, well, by saying for no reason whatsoever, I mean we burned for shit ton of HP, um, which once again sucks, but it is how it is. Meanwhile, what we are going to do from this position, from this position we will try to um, eliminate this light tank, we are going to behave like a shadow next to him, and we are going to try to punish him for um, his mistakes and for his stupidity, right? Okay, let's see. We have extremely important position and even though we do not really have that much hit points left, right? Uh, it doesn't really change um, the situation for us that heavily, as, uh, as wrong as it sounds. Meanwhile, there is E25, we are smacking E25 and we are waiting for a 12 seconds again. Skill, uh, may I ask a question? Why did you fix it, your engine, not your ammo rack? Sure thing, that's a very, very good question, fellas. Um, and the main reason why I did that is because I need to be flexible in a way. Without... Um, Without engine, I won't be able to escape if someone is going to come a bit closer. So this is not exactly what I am looking for. Um, what I want to see, I want to see enemies obviously making some kind of mistakes. And oh boy, so oh boys, this team. Yeah, I have a feeling this is not going to be 3000 as we anticipated at first. Uh, in the best case scenario, this is going to be 1,000 if uh, if I am going to be lucky in a way. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, let's talk this game. A uh, one to ten, two minutes into the battle. Okay, three minutes in the battle. Uh, I honestly have nothing to say. Sometimes it happens when your team is just simply melting, and when enemies are having um, an easy game. Um, what we could done differently in this situation, I honestly do not know. This is World of Tanks and it is a sadness of the World of Tanks when you are getting uh, matches like this. But you know what, I'm not afraid to show that, I'm not afraid to say um, you are not alone and you might get game like this as well and there is nothing what we can do about that. Oh well, shame. Anyways, the third game was a fail, but oh well, what can you do? No complaints, no regrets, right? Uh, let's teleport into the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. That's the game. That's the game, fellas. Um, okay, 
We are uh, fifth by the damage. We are sixth by experience. One to three experience, by the way. The game took uh, four minutes. We survived 75% uh, uh, of the game. And that was a big fat disappointment. But you know what? Uh, I am not afraid to show that. I know many of you ha and have the same situation. And this is how World of Tanks is looking like nowadays. In the end of the day, uh, pretty bad session for this tank. Not gonna lie. Only one victory out of three. Uh, only one 4.4 thousand damage and 700 assisting damage but that's world of tanks and once again you cannot do anything about this this is what you are going to get anyways thank you very much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skills out for today peace